Once upon a time, on a cloudy day, a crow was on his way to meet a dinosaur. Carrying two pieces of luggage, he moved quickly to get to the bus stop sign. Trying to get a better look, he adjusted a handmade dinosaur plushie under his wing. After he set down his things, a rustle came from one of his bags. The larger travel case clicked open, and a flower popped out. She studied her new environment with sleepy eyes. After admiring the wide fields of yellow, she spoke. Is this where we should wait? And she moved her leaves towards a sign with a list of bus arrival times on the left. Yep, the crow cheerfully replied. It was a rare occasion to take the bus, so he marked the spot on the map diligently. Since he could fly wherever he wanted, he wasn't exactly familiar with the area. The main reason for taking the bus was so that he didn't have to fly with luggage. Taking the bus was much less tiring than flying with 20 pounds of extra weight. But why was he at the bus stop? He was here because of his newfound love for dinosaurs. A couple of months ago when he was at the library, he came across a fully illustrated book full of all sorts of facts about dinosaurs. Curiosity struck him, and he ended up spending most of his free time doing research, and it all accumulated in him wanting to go meet a dinosaur. Some of his friends told him that this was impossible, but he wasn't deterred at all. Whether it was going to a museum, an archaeological dig site, or even meeting one in person, he wanted to explore all the possibilities. He was a big fan. Anticipating a long journey, he wore a sweater with a dinosaur pattern all over it. He turned to his flower friend, who was enjoying the sun on her petals. I've heard that birds are related to dinosaurs. Isn't that cool? I wonder if we will actually get to meet one. Maybe so, she responded, but they were here a long time ago. She and the crow were an unlikely duo, but they had each other's backs no matter what, which meant that she didn't want him to end up disappointed. If he didn't end up meeting a dinosaur, she wanted to be there for him for moral support. Tagging along, she tucked herself into his suitcase, and he was grateful she could come. The more, the merrier. He lifted his head up and felt a pleasant breeze rustle his face feathers. Taking a deep breath in, he felt optimistic and let out a sigh with a smile. Must time sometimes varied, so he might have to wait for longer. While he waited, he would enjoy the weather, and if he really got bored, he would grab a book from one of his bags. But for now, he would talk to his friend. I understand why you're worried, but there's nothing wrong with having wild dreams. She looked over at him. Of course, I'm also excited about visiting the museum. I wonder if they have fossils of ancient plants. Maybe my great-great-great-great-grandflower is there. Probably. History's pretty cool, huh? He hugged his stuffed dino gently. The soft plushie was a gift from his dad, who was the crow's biggest supporter. Squeezing the soft dino even more, it played a recording in his dad's voice. You're doing your best, bud. And the flower nodded at the crow, looking up at the bus sign. It was then that they heard the rumble of an oncoming bus, which made the crow smile. He was ready. The bus approached the two and the doors opened. Sitting on the chair sat a bus driver who looked like a velociraptor. The crow stood, shocked, not getting on the bus immediately. You getting on or what? The driver said in a bored tone, adjusting his hat. Are you a dinosaur? The crow couldn't believe what came out of his mouth. He didn't mean to ask so suddenly. Eh? I'm just a lizard. And the bus driver laughed. Never seen an overgrown lizard before? No, never. I'm headed to the museum in the next city. And the crow got onto the bus, with the flower silently watching the lizard with curious eyes. Ah, you want to see dinosaurs? Well, no wonder you ask me. I guess I do look like one. And he looked at the rearview mirror, looking back at his own yellow eyes. The crow laughed apologetically. I'm sorry I suddenly asked. I really like dinosaurs. As the bus driver continued on the route, the crow looked out the window, closing his eyes to take a small nap until he got to the stop, getting a feeling that this trip was just going to get better and better. And a special thanks to my Raccoon Snacks patrons, Anna Gaylord, Arige, Bree, Derek Moore, Agnale, Jessica, Laura Moon, Megan Stinson, and Paige Sullivan. Thank you very much.